we'll come back for two more examples on how to convert repeating decimals to fractions. For the first example, we have 0 0.86 with just the six repeating. Step one is to set the repeating decimal equal to x, which gives us x equals 0 0.86 with the six repeating. Let's label this equation one from step one. Step two, if needed, multiply both sides of the equation by multiples of 10 until just the repeating digits are to the right of the decimal. Notice right now we have this eight that does not repeat and is to the right of the decimal. We want a decimal where we just have the six repeating to the right. Notice for this to happen, we have to move the decimal one place to the right, which is equivalent to multiplying by 10, which means for equation two from step two, we multiply both sides of this equation by 10. 10 times x is 10x, and 10 times 0 0.86 with the six repeating is equal to 8.6 repeating. Notice now we just have the repeating six to the right of the decimal, which is what is needed for step two. And now for step three, we form another equation by multiplying both sides of the equation from step one or step two by multiples of 10 so that one set of the repeating digit or digits are now to the left of the decimal. So because the six is repeating, we need a decimal where we have one six to the left of the decimal. Looking at equation two, for this to happen, we have to move the decimal one place to the right, which again is equivalent to multiplying by 10. So for step three or equation three, we multiply both sides of equation two by 10. 10 times 10 x is 100 x, and 10 times 8.6 repeating is equal to 86.6 repeating. Again, now notice how we have one six to the left of the decimal, which is required for step three. Step four, we now subtract the equation from step two from the equation from step three. So beginning with equation three, we have 100 x equals 86.6 repeating. And now we subtract equation two, which means we subtract 10 x from the left, and we subtract 8.6 repeating on the right. And now we subtract. 100 x minus 10 x is 90 x. On the right, 86.6 repeating minus 8.6 repeating is equal to 78. And now we solve for x by dividing both sides by 90. Simplifying on the left, this quotient is one, one times x is x. We have x equals 78 ninetieths, which does simplify. 78 and 90 share a common factor of two. So we divide the numerator and denominator by two. 78 divided by two is equal to 39. 90 divided by two is equal to 45. Now we have x equals 39 40 fifths, and x is equal to the repeating decimal. So now we know that 0 0.86 with the six repeating is equal to 39 40 fifths. And of course we can easily check this on the calculator. 39 divided by 45 does give us the repeating decimal of 0 0.86 with the six repeating. Next we have 3.152 with just the five and two repeating. Step one, we said x equal to the repeating decimal, so we'll leave off the three for right now, and the equation is x equals 0 0.152 with the five and two repeating. This is equation one. For equation two, we multiply both sides of the equation by multiples of 10 until just the repeating digits are to the right of the decimal. Notice right now we have this one to the right, which doesn't repeat, we only want the five and the two to the right, which means we'd have to move the decimal one place to the right, which is equivalent to multiplying by 10. So for step two, we multiply both sides of the equation by 10. 10 times x is 10 x, and 10 times 0 0.152 with the five and two repeating is equal to 1.52 with the five and two repeating. Notice how just the repeating digits are now to the right of the decimal. Step three, we now form another equation by multiplying both sides of the equation from step one or two by multiples of 10 so that one set of the repeating digit or digits 
are now to the left of the decimal, which means now we want a decimal where we have a five and two to the left of the decimal. In order to do this, we have to move the decimal two places to the right, which is equivalent to multiplying by 100. So for step three or equation three, we multiply both sides of equation two by 100. 100 times 10x is equal to 1,000x, and 100 times 1.52 with the five and two repeating is equal to 152.52 repeating. For step four, we subtract equation two from equation three. So beginning with equation three, we have 1,000x equals 152.52 repeating. And now we subtract equation two. So we subtract 10x on the left and we subtract 1.52 with the five and two repeating on the right. Subtracting 1000x minus 10x is 990x equals subtracting on the right 152.52 repeating minus 1.52 repeating is equal to 151. And now we solve for x by dividing both sides by 990. Simplifying, this quotient is one, one times x is x. We have x equals 151 nine ths And this fraction doesn't simplify, so now we know the repeating decimal of 0 0.152 with the five and two repeating is equal to 151 nine ths So now we know three, 0.152 with the five and two repeating is equal to three, the whole number, plus the repeating decimal as a fraction, which is 151 990ths, or as a mixed number, three and 151 990ths. If we did want the fraction rather than a mixed number, the denominator would be 990, and the numerator would be 990 times three plus 151, which is equal to 3,121 990ths. And again, we can check this on the calculator. 3,121 divided by 990 does give us the original repeating decimal. Just be where the calculator is rounding in the rightmost digit. I hope you found this helpful.